What's going on folks, Mantan here from Hit Points Gaming and I'm here to talk to you about my bindings for the Galaxy Map in Elite Dangerous for the SciTech X52 Pro HOTUS setup. Now I know a lot of people have trouble with the Galaxy Map in VR specifically because the mouse is very cumbersome. So I'm going to show you guys how I control the Galaxy Map with just the sticks so that you don't have to take your hands off them of course unless you need to type a name and then you have to go back to your home row skills. So here I am in my settings. I have the Galaxy Cam Pitch Axis Map 2 up and down on the actual joystick side. We'll call one side joystick, one side throttle. Then uh, skip the pitch up and down. Galaxy Cam Yaw Axis is gonna actually be the twisting of the joystick. Then we're gonna go down some more. And once you get down here, the Galaxy Cam X Axis, which is gonna be left and right with the actual joystick. Then we're gonna keep going. Uh, take a look over here real quick. The Galaxy Cam Translate forward, backwards, left and right. This is actually the little nub that's on the throttle side, which is where your index, fin your, your index finger is. I'm sorry if you can't really see it uh, in the little thing, but it's right on the other side. So you're going to use the nub to go forward, backward, left, and right. Going down some more, I have the Galaxy Cam Translate up and down with the D-pad, not the silver one, not, not the, sil the silver cone, but the actual D-pad on the upper left of the joystick. So that you do up and down for a Galaxy Cam Translate up and down. Next, Galaxy Cam zoom in and out. Now this is important. There's a slider on the throttle side, which is right here where my thumb is. And uh, if you take your thumb off of uh, whatever button this is, this is the one I use for reverse, uh, there's a slider. So you're gonna take the slider and you're gonna use it as a modifier. This is very important. So you're gonna use this as a modifier. You're gonna, you're gonna push it up and press up on the cone on the joystick side at the same time and that'll give you your zoom in and your zoom out now when you're in the galaxy map itself you don't have to do that each time by pressing up in the thing you're just going to leave the slider in the up position in order to use it and that's pretty much it so your silver cone is what you're going to use to navigate the menus anyway in the galaxy map like normal and i guess that's like where, th where the main problem is so we're going to go ahead and back out of here and I'm going to go to the galaxy map so we can kind of try out uh, some stuff over there. So here I am. I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the zoom in and out. Right. So I'm going to put the slider up on the throttle and press back on the cone on the right. And you see I zoom in and out, in and out. So next, if you see if I put that down, I actually navigate the menus. Now that the slider's down, up and down navigates the menus over, over, over here. So you can do both. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the slider all the way up and I'm going to zoom out some. And you can see if I go up on the joystick, I go up, down the joystick, I go downwards, a twist, twist the whole galaxy map, and a left and right, which is actually going to be the same thing as the nub, I, I believe. Yeah, so that's up to you. Left and right on the nub. I, I like using the nub a little bit better. Than using the joystick to go left and right but that's on you you know whichever is more comfortable for yourself so we're going to zoom way out and this is how the galaxy map works now you normally with the mouse would click on a dot to go there but there's some leeway with these little circles that i'm about to show you how they work so with my slider up i'm going to start zooming in uh, i'm going to choose whatever out Al alioth is right so right now i overshot it alioth is up there some so now using the D-pad, I'm going to go up, right? This goes straight up and down. If you look at the plane, right? D-pad is straight up and down on that plane. I'm actually, you know what? I should probably zoom out to show you that. Okay, straight up and down is the, is the D-pad. And then uh, D-pad left and right is how you do the tabs over here, okay? So here now we're going to zoom back in. Still looking for Alioth, which is right there. So I don't want to overshoot it this time. Oh, see, look, I'm way too far out, right? So now we actually have to go down closer to it. So it's it's, it's up a little bit. There's there's Alia. So we're going to go up towards it as best we can. Use the nub to move around, right? Up towards it as best we can. Start to zoom in. Now you see it's still gray. Where is it? Well, as we get closer, you don't want to overshoot it. There's Alia right there. So if you see these little disks here, that's your leeway when you're looking for things, the disks that are on the plane. So you don't have to highlight the blue circle itself, you highlight the little disk 
and that will give you where you want to be at. So right here is actually the disk for Alioth. If I go up, you'll see now I'm on the blue dot. It's right there. So now you can put your slider back down and it allows you to select what's going on in the menu over here for Alioth, whether it's the system map, bookmark the location, and also the you can use you know your menu there on the left and you tab left and right with the d-pad that's on the joystick so uh, let's go to the system map actually real uh, really really quick we're gonna go to the system map for Alioth right so there it is and this is another thing in VR that kinda sucks a little bit holy crap that's close so if you're really close you see you move really slow right really really slow it's a very monochrome system by the way but if you zoom out you know you actually move across much faster so that's one way to help yourself in this situation and then just zoom in on where you want to be so you zoom out move a little bit faster yeah it's not as instant as a mouse but it's still you know you don't have to worry about taking your hands off of what it is that you're doing then once you get to where you are you select with the uh joystick here with the cone switch and then I have, you know, uh, I believe it's the B button is my select button. Well, I hope that was helpful, man. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will do my best to answer them. If you have any questions on some of my other bindings, I will be happy to answer those as well. Take it easy, folks.